We've said it before on the GAC Weekly that home court advantage was a real thing in the Great American Conference, and that proved itself to be true again this week. In fact, according to the Massey rankings, the GAC has the biggest home court advantage of any league in Division II basketball on both the women's and men's sides of the ball. Henderson State took full advantage of that this weekend as both the men's and women's teams took games over Southeastern, stopping winning streaks for both nationally ranked teams. The Reddy's men trailed by six with less than three minutes left and used an 11-1 run to close out the game and take the storm 67-63, stopping a six-game streak for Southeastern. Raekwon Rogers had 17 points and eight boards in the Reddy win. Henderson State has climbed into a tie with Southeastern at the top of the league standings at 9-3. Southern Nazarene is a half game behind at 8-3, with East Central, Oklahoma Baptist, and Arkansas Tech close behind at 7-5. The Reddies travel to Bethany for a big matchup with Southern Nazarene on Thursday. For the first time in more than five years, a mule rider was named the GAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week. Jalen Brooks had double-doubles in SAU's wins over Oklahoma Baptist and Southern Nazarene. He had a career-high 28 points against the Bison and went a perfect 14 for 14 from the free throw line. Brooks put in 17 points two nights later against Southern Nazarene and made all four free throws he shot in that game as well. Henderson State's women also toppled Southeastern on Saturday, putting the first notch in the L column for the Storm in 2020 and bringing an eight-game streak to a halt. Pink Jones scored nine of her 14 points in the fourth quarter to help secure the win. The Storm are still two games ahead of the pack in the league standings at 10-2, and and it is a pack in a five-way tie for second place, including Henderson, Tech, Monticello, Southern Nazarene, and Harding. The doubleheader with Southern Nazarene and Henderson State on Thursday should be a good one. The GAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week had two double-doubles as well as did the Men's Basketball Player of the Week. Bernicia Tidwell had 19 points and 11 boards against Southern Nazarene and 18 and 13 against Oklahoma Baptist. A fun look back at GAC history has been posted on the league's website promoting teams of the decade. Many individuals are honored on these lists with programs also acknowledged as the best of the 2010s, so far including programs such as Arkansas Tech Women's Tennis, Southeastern Men's Tennis, Arkansas Tech Women's and Men's Basketball, Harding and Oklahoma Baptist Women's Cross Country, they shared that honor, East Central Men's Cross Country, Southwestern Women's Soccer, Harding Volleyball, and Washita Football. Baseball season and softball season get underway this weekend. Here are the final installments of the 2020 Countdown to First Pitch Series with GAC baseball and softball coaches this week by heading over to the conference website, greatamericanconference.com. This has been the GAC Weekly. I'm Joey McWilliams. To see and hear this and more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Net home of the GAC Weekly.